Okay, it's dark, and I'm in bed, and I'm wearing my jammies. I didn't think it was worth the time to get up and change. Um, now to sort out this Felita the Geek mess. Um, first of all, when she came to AOD, she came complete with drama. Um, Felita came into AOD as a friend of Eli, Tamla's girl. Eli was particularly protective of her. So when Felita told us that she was having trouble with another YouTuber, we helped her. Felita's demand was that everyone log on to their stock accounts and rate that video down. And she noticed that a rather trollish video had been uploaded about her. Um, Felita claimed that her problem with this other YouTuber came about when he expressed a desire to sleep with her because she's just that sexy. And um, she, of course, being the noble woman that she is, refused. Um, she also claimed that another man involved had slept with her and turned against her when his girlfriend found out. Um, I'm pretty much certain that all of those allegations are complete bullshit because I have heard from other men who have dealt with her that she has a tendency to lash out and become spiteful when her own sexual advances are turned down. Yeah, but moving on. Now, um, later on, a problem arose with another YouTuber who will remain nameless since, unlike her, he handled that problem behind the scenes and has made it clear that he wants no part of this trauma. Um, before that situation was cleared up, Felita was given a bare minimum of information about it. She was asked not to speak with that individual about the matter as we were trying to keep the issue from becoming larger than it really needed to be. Instead of using discretion as we requested, Felita took it upon herself to go on a little spy mission and return to tell us as if we were going to be proud of her. Um, we weren't. Um, on the AOD channel, subscribers and friends have a tendency to drop not only their own docs, but drop docs on other YouTubers. Um, everyone with keys to the channel has to be ethical enough to not only not use the information that's given to us, but to delete it, to dispose of it. <sighs> Felita's little spy mission cast doubt on her on her ethics. Um, even after it was clear that we did not condone her actions, she continued to try and squeeze more information out of us. Um, she was told by Eli. Well, if, if I talk to you, you say you're friends with him, it puts you in the middle. And, and I don't want to put you in the middle if he's someone that you feel you truly like. So I'm, I'm not sure what I can say without making you feel like you're in the middle. And she went on to ask again. Well, I want to know what went on. And again. And I want to know what he said. And again. You were there. You, you were there. You could tell me an account of what actually was said and what actually did happen. When Eli put her foot down, Felita got angry. Since I was the senior member of the collaboration who was present, I backed Eli. When no one else took her side, Felita was furious and she rage quit. She went on to tell pretty much anyone who would listen that she fought with AOD and quit, but she didn't want to talk about it. You know, that's why she was talking about it. <sighs> she did not quit because of group think, as she put it. She quit because if she hadn't, I would have had to kick her out. And she knew this. She left us threatening us the whole way um, and doing everything she could to hurt Eli. Even after that, Eli was still protective of her. She asked us to watch out for her and let her know that she still had friends in the ALD. Um, 
big fucking mistake. This woman then decided that everything said to her was a personal jab, that even videos uploaded onto AOD about other people were somehow all about her. Um, we watched her as she drew first blood. We watched her strike first with all of her lies and bullshit, and the only complaint we had was that she removed my name from the first piece of shit she put out. Once it was gone, we went back to silence. In the meantime, we put up with nasty private messages and comments and videos from her little ragtag army of the injured, ill, and underaged. We ignored it, and we tried to, to negotiate peace behind the scenes. Our offer was simple. Keep your videos, cool off your mob, and go away. She continued to push and push, trying to get a rise out of us. When she failed, she, along with death of speech, did the only thing that would work, and Doc dropped four people at once. Now, it isn't usually my style to let someone run all over me the way she did. And some may wonder why I did this time. Um, this comment from her should shed a little light. Now, this was her way of reminding me that I made the foolish mistake of telling her the title of my son's channel. She was also sure to remind us over and over that she has Eli's stocks. That's what she used to keep us silent. My child and the fact that Eli's personal information being broadcast over the net presents a very real physical danger for her. Very low. Very cowardly. This woman, who tends to get into big dramatic fights about once every other month, always manages to have some sort of negotiation where videos are removed and anyone who isn't paying attention doesn't realize or doesn't remember all of her past battles with former friends. And so she gets away with it. She wasn't expecting us to simply not care whether or not she removed her videos. <laughs> now, you, you don't have to believe me, but I do hope you believe this. If you associate with this woman, never tell her anything that you don't wish to have blared over a loudspeaker. Don't tell her anything you don't want to have held against you. Take it from one who knows.